Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and a lot of y'all, including myself, probably purchased this drill. Really nice, uses a, a great battery that I can also use with other tools that I have. But you were probably a little confused when it came to inserting the drill bit or the uh, or the screwdriver head. Now this screwdriver head came with it. Oh, and by the way, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order this drill online. I just got the base drill because I already had the battery uh, with my uh, lawn trimmer, my works lawn trimmer. So the first thing you want to do is remove the battery. You want to be safe. And you're going to notice here if you push, this trigger is in action. So what you do, you push this little knob right here, or a little button. Okay, that still didn't do it. I'm going to push the button from this side. Now it's locked. See, if I push it all the way, the trigger still moves. So you want to push it to where the trigger doesn't move. Once you've got it to where the trigger doesn't move, in this case, you can take out your drill bit. I'm using a, a screwdriver. So to take out, I just twist that way, loosens it up. I can pull it right out. Now, if I want to insert it, what I do with it already locked with the battery out, I stick it in and then I turn it this way. So remember lefty tighty, uh, left, to the, left is tight and then right would be loose. So see, now it's in. And if I want to take it out again, just to demonstrate, twist this way, you know, just enough to pull it out. You could keep twisting and it's going to get really loose. So if you had a, you know, what I see, that's really loose. See how that's just kind of wobbling around. So what I recommend doing is tightening it enough to where, see, it would be easy to get it crooked if you, See, now look at that. So see, that's how to attach screwdriver tip, drill bit, whatever, and just to re-demonstrate, twist it, loosen it up, and pull it out, switch it over to Phillips head, switch it to flat head, put a drill bit in, you know, whatever you need to do. And then once you have it in there, just make sure it's tight, and then you can attach your battery. Obviously, make sure your battery's charged. But see, if I push this now, it's still locked. So to use it, if I want to go in this direction, I'd push it that way. If I want to go in the other direction, I would push it that way. Super simple. And again, just to demonstrate the lock, see, now it's locked. But just for safety's sake, before I change the drill bit or the uh, you know screwdriver head, I always take the battery off. So there's no possibility that if I inadvertently hit this, that it would come on because it has no battery. So again, just to show again, twist this way, makes it loose, comes right out. I can switch to flathead or drill bit or whatever. Very nice. And the, and the value add of this, not having this, this having what's called a keyless chuck, you know, a power drill with a keyless chuck like this is great because you don't have that little chuck piece you got to deal with. You know, how many times have you had an old drill and you lost that? I mean, yeah, you can get another one, but yeah. So that's that's how to replace the drill bit or screwdriver tip, whatever you're using with your works battery-powered drill. And I really like this thing. Admittedly, the instructions that came with it weren't super clear, so that's why I filmed this video. If this video helped, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, ring that bell icon. I am an independent YouTube channel, so it's your support that enables me to continue to grow. And if you're, if you're shopping for a drill like this, I highly recommend it. It's very nice, very affordable. Expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it online. Again, I just got the drill because I already had the battery and the charger with my lawn trimmer that I had. I, oh, that thing's awesome too. Check out my, my works uh, lawn trimmer video as well. But I appreciate your viewership. And again, always be safe when working with uh, power tools. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.